Hey guys, it's the. Have you ever wanted to become a web developer? Maybe you want to build your own web page so that you can put in your portfolio there, or maybe you want to have the web page as a portfolio itself so that you can show it to your future employers. Or have you ever wanted to become a web developer that build web apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those apps? Well, in this series, let's talk about that. How you can become a web developer. Now, I have some ideas I want to share with you here today. So, the first thing is the distinct, uh, the distinguish between a front end, the front end of a website. Now, what you look at the website, every website, YouTube right now, or any web page that you are seeing this video from, is something we call a front end. It is the thing that you see on the screen, and the user interact with that, which is we call the front end of a website. And to create a front end, you use a language called HTTP, or it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Don't worry about all of those cryptic language, okay? And we also use CSS and some JavaScript to build the front end of a website. Some stylings, some interactions, some animations of a website. That's what the front end is for. On the other hand, on the flip side, we have the back end. The back end of a website. Now, the back end, it is the thing that maybe you go to Facebook.com, then when you log in and sign up, that's the backend. The backend, it powers the uh, user authentication. Maybe you want to uh, compose a post, send a photo, that's sent to the uh, internet. That's the backend. Maybe you want to send a message to your friend, that's the backend. But the thing is, the thing is, every website may or may not have the backend. Every website may or may not have a backend, but every website must have the front end. It means that if you want to view something and call it a website, a web page, it must have the front end. Otherwise, there's no way for the user to interact with that, to see the content, to see the structures, the content of a web page, right? That's the front. That's what we will focus on in this episode and so in the future ones. Now, in order to create the front end, you need to learn the language of the web. We will need to learn a, a markup language we call HTML. HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Let's talk about that, how you can use that in this video, in this coming demo. In order to write to code a web page, you will need a text editor. And by text editor, I mean like a very plain old text editor. It is not Microsoft Word. It is not Pages or Numbers or Evernote, all of the or Google Docs, not all of those fancy text editor stuff, but a plain old text editor that gives you just the text. Um, I personally really, really love something we call ADM.io. Just go there, ADM.io. And the nice thing is, this thing, it works on Windows, it works on Mac, it works on Linux, all of the platforms out there. So I hope that you will download ADM.io. Again, this is, um, I believe that it is um, GitHub, right? Yeah, right. It is GitHub and it's just amazing. Very simple, very beautiful, you see here. So just download it now, install it, and then we will go into the demo about HTML. Here we go. So this is what it looks like when you open the text editor for the first time. There you go. So let's talk about HTML. HTML, it defines the contents and also the structure of a web page. And to create it, very simple, just create a text file and then um, name it .html, something .html, and so you can type in any content here. So in here, let's say that I will type in this is the first web page, or maybe let's do hello world. This is my first web page, like that, okay? And then I will save this thing, and I will save it as index.html. Notice I save it as index.html and you also have to save it there too. So I will save it here, save it. Okay, see this? 
and the reason why we name it index.html is this is the folder and you see that this folder when we open it in a browser then the browser it will look for the first file called index.html and it will display the file so if i just go and drag this page into this will opens up this page here you can just literally see it on your browser and there we go see hello world this is my first web page and then maybe you want to do another line like uh, my name is the trend like that you can find me at the trend.io like this and then i will save it remember that you have to save it and then refresh the page and it turn into new content there we go now HTML is so much more powerful than that you can do a lot of things you can do uh, columns um, you can do columns you can do videos so many things in HTML and to do that the first thing you will need to learn is something we call text so in order to create a text we we'll do open and close a bracket like this okay and the inside this how about we do an h1 it means that this is the first level headline tag okay and then we'll do maybe we do the trend the il home page something like this okay and then this alone is not enough because we have to close this tag this h1 tag too so i will use open and close and then we use a backslash like this and then we'll name h1 again so let's save that refresh this page and you see something different this text is much much bigger all right that is the text editor that you use i prefer to use item.io if you want to use your own um your own text editor feel free to use any kind of text editor except microsoft word or evernote just use a very simple plain old uh, text editor now notice that html here it defines the structure of a web page what we just did very simple we have a, a, a headline text right uh, my name there but later on in the future episode we'll have a lot of things below that and it html we define the structure of a web page but the structure alone the content itself doesn't make a beautiful web page for the beauty of a web page we are going to use something we call css cascading style sheets css this as the name suggests it takes care of the style of a web page so it takes care of the colors of the gradients of the animations all of those crazy stuff all of the fancy thing that you see on a web page that is what css for now in this demo we will change the color of the text that we have in the html very very fast just just to give you a glimpse of what css looks like and also some of the syntax in css so let's do that in this demo before we go into demoing the um, css i want to just show you very fast that the the way that the browser it parses the html that we are running here is from the top to bottom and left to right right so that's why I display this line first and then this line and then the h1 tag now in order to create H uh, css we will need another tag and because notice that we parse the h1 tag first but the browser in order to make sure that we style things we have to put the style before the html so above here i will do style attack like this and then down below i will do close the tag okay just another tag it's like you are learning a new language you're learning french you're learning germany all of those new languages that may be new to you you need to learn the syntax you need to learn the cap uh, the uh, the vocabulary all of those things so don't worry if this things it seems weird and seems like uncomfortable for you because that is what you actually learn the most so don't worry if this thing is new to you okay and i hope that it is new to you too now this tag here inside this style tag is the place for us to put in css 
to use CSS, we have to target, we have to tell HTML, the browser, that, hey, I want to style this H1 tag. So we'll type in H1 like this, open and close uh, a curly brace. Inside this is all the properties, all the stylings for this H1 tag itself. So here, maybe you want to change the color, colon, into green. And then we have to do a semicolon like that. Okay, so let's save that. Refresh this page, and there we go. It changes into green. How about we want to do like red? Save that. Refresh, change. How about we want to do blue? And it does change. All right, guys, that's the demo for this video of this episode. I hope that you enjoyed that. Let's recap a little bit. In this video, we talk about the front end of a web page, which is the thing that you see on the screen. A web page may or may not have a back end to, to authenticate user login, sign up, or user activity, all of those fancy stuff. The thing is, a website may or may not have a back end, it must have a front end. And in order to create the front end of a web page, you use HTML, uh, Hypertext Markup Language. It will define the structure of a web page and from the structure here, from the contents, to style it, to make sure that it is beautiful, it looks like the thing that you design it, we use CSS. It defines the style of a web page. I hope that you enjoyed this episode so far, and we will have so much more web development content here in the channel. So do me a favor, subscribe to this channel here, so that I can continue to create more video tutorials there for you to become a web developer and also check out thechan.io which is my website here so that I can give you my free courses, free trainings and my newsletter every single week, news videos every single week for you. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas and contribute to the world. I'll see you in the next video.